Lady Gaga reveals what Bradley Cooper said to her before emotional Oscar performance of their duet Shallow Bradley Cooper offered as a Star is Born co-star Lady Gaga advised at their last rehearsal the day before their emotional performance of Shallow on the Oscars on Sunday. The newly single hitmaker, who won best song for the track at the ceremony, revealed what he told her backstage in the press room after the show. Let's drop a little bit of joy, he told the blonde beauty. Single quote H.E. said, One of the hardest things in life is to be brave enough to be yourself. I wish to everyone that is going to that celebration to feel a joy inside of them, the 32-year-old shared. That's actually what Bradley said to me yesterday, right before we did our last rehearsal for this performance of Shallow, she continued. Single quote H.E. said, Let's just drop a little bit of joy. And I said, Okay. And turns out, Joy did a whole lot for me. In fact, their electrifying chemistry during their performance of Shallow sent Twitter users into a frenzy on Sunday night, with one user telling the pair to get a room. Gazing into one another's eyes, the couple gave a hot and heavy performance, nearly kissing as they reached the climax of the track, which minutes later was named the winner in the best song category. Gaga's appearance at the Oscars was the first time she had been seen since ending her engagement to fiancé Christian Carino, 50. While the newly single Gaga walked the red carpet alone, Bradley, 44, arrived hand in hand with his mother Gloria, and Russian model Irina Sheik, the mother of his one-year-old daughter Lady Saini Sheik Cooper. Yet despite seeing Bradley and Irina gazed lovingly at one another of the carpet, Fans seem convinced Gaga has her sights set on her A Star Is Born co-star. Former WWF champion pro wrestler The Iron Sheik summed up the feelings of many when he tweeted, Bradley Cooper Lady Gaga get a room bubba. Another put a cheeky caption on a picture of Gaga laughing with Arena, who sat between the pop star and her boyfriend. Tristan Thompson, Khloe Kardashian, and Jordyne Woods at the Oscars, they captioned the shot, referring to this week's revelation that Kylie Jenner's BFF had been caught making out with the NBA boyfriend of her big sister. They certainly weren't alone in their thoughts. However one person who seemed unperturbed by the obviously close connection between Bradley and Gaga was his partner, Irina, who gave the two a standing ovation after their sizzling performance. Earlier this month, Bradley thanked Irina for putting up with him while he made the music for the film. Seated between Bradley and Gaga, the model could also be seen smiling and applauding as Gaga walked to the stage to collect her Best Song Oscar. In her acceptance speech, the tearful pop star thanked Bradley profusely, saying he was the only person she could have performed it with. Crying, she gushed, Thank you so much. To the Academy for this wonderful honor. Thank you to every single person in this room. Thank you to Mark Ronson, to Anthony Rosamondo. To Andrew Wyatt, my co-writers, I love them so much. To my sister, my soul mate, I love you. She continued, clutching the Oscar, her first, my family is here, I love you, mom and dad. Bradley, there's not a single person on the planet that could have sung this song with me but you. Thank you for believing in us, thank you so much. In her acceptance speech, the tearful pop star thanked Bradley profusely saying he was the only person she could have performed it with. Crying, she gushed, thank you so much. To the Academy for this wonderful honor. Thank you to every single person in this room. Thank you to Mark Ronson, to Anthony Rosamondo, to Andrew Wyatt my co-writers, I love them so much. To my sister, my soul mate, I love you. She continued, clutching the Oscar, her first, my family is here, I love you. Mom and Dad. Bradley, there's not a single person on the planet that could have sung this song with me but you. Thank you for believing in us, thank you so much. And Gaga shared, if you're at home and sitting on your couch watching this right now, all I have to say is this is hard work. I have worked hard for a long time, and it is not about winning, but it's about not giving up. If you have a dream, fight for it. There's a discipline for a passion. And it's not about how many times you get rejected or you fall down or beaten up, it's about how many times you stand up and are brave. Thank you.